Hey guys, welcome back to Eloden and Astamatitos. This is Callus Invitational 3, Round 4, Winner's Bracket Action, and this is Game 2. Asta won Game 1. Switching sides for continuity, Asta will again be on the bottom. Eloden is on the top with a Zapdos lead, and Asta also has a Zapdos lead. Pulls it back here to Snorlax, and Celebi is going to be the top side switch for Eloden. Going to go immediate Calm Mind. And Shadow Ball will be the punishment. Pretty big damage. That's I don't know if that's a choice ban lax or a very attack invested lax or a not particularly bulky Celebi, but an unboosted Shadow Ball doing 45% is unusually high. And Lax switches it up to Body Slam here, so it looks like a not bulky Celebi. Uh, perhaps it is plus speed Celebi, since we know for a fact now that it is a Combine Baton Pass user. Here is Substitute on the switch to Metagross. Earthquake pops the sub, obviously. See what he can do. Oh, wow. That's a one-hit KO from the plus one Fire Blast. Uh, without the Combine boost, that would not have knocked him out. But the sub T-Tower actually does take advantage of the Combine. On the offensive side, that is. And he gets a one-hit KO on Metagross. So loading out to the early lead. Vaporeon comes in against T-Tower. That very well could be another... Baton Pass user. We'll find out if that ends up being the case. Goes Substitute here. That would block Leech Seed. That would get popped by HP Grass or Giga Drain, of course, but that will at least block the Leech Seed. And it does have Giga Drain, so down goes the sub. And Ice Beam. Wow, 54% on that Ice Beam. That's pretty good. I don't know if the Vaporeon is invested at all or if it's just using its naturally very high special attack, but. That Ice Beam did a nice little chunk, and Eloden thinks it's going to be a Giga Drain, so he switches to Jirachi, who would have taken it really well, but instead it's Calm Mind for Asta. Ice Punch 20%, doesn't get the 20% freeze. Hidden Power Fire back, that does way more, and despite the Jirachi being faster, the Celebi in Asta's hands will have the advantage here. Eloden's going to go for it, he goes Thunder, he finds the 60% para, but he'll lose his Jirachi in the process, that was definitely a risky play for Eloden, the Thunder very well could have not hit there, but it does end up connecting and he does find the paralysis, so a couple of things worked out there for Eloden, and we've got ourselves a 5-5, Combine from Eloden Celebi now, that's going to take 29% from Hidden Power, keeping in mind that they are both at equal boosts, so it is basically as if they both have no boosts. And Asta gets out of the way. Here comes Lax. And Combine number two from Celebi. That is pretty dangerous. He's going to be able to pass plus two, plus two somewhere. He just has to decide where. There is the BP, and the target is going to be a previously unrevealed Swampert, who's going to be body slammed 49%. That feels very high. Swampert has lefties, though, so I guess he's not Endeavor Purt. I don't know why that slam is doing so much, but that is quite unlucky. That is a plus two Hydro Pump miss and a para. Disaster turn there for Eloden. Exactly what Asta would have wanted. Hydro Pump misses and he gets the para, so he gets to kill the Purt for free. That is quite unlucky for Eloden, who has definitely been on the inferior end of the hacks in this series. Asta has definitely gotten the better RNG in the series so far. This game could still be won by a Loden. He would have been in much better shape, obviously, had that Lax and Purt sequence not happened, but we'll see what he can do from here. Giga Drain does pop the sub. Selby goes back up to 30%. Will the Focus Punch be enough? It's going to come up well short, even with the sand. That's not going to do it. Eloden seems to have made a misplay there. Fire Blast would have killed the Salabi, but Focus Punch does not. And man, what kind of balls would he have had to have had to have Focus Punched again there? That would have one-hit KO'd the opposing T-Tower, but that's a really, really hard play to make, and I do not fault Eloden for not being able to make it. He gets an agility off here. He gets ice beamed in exchange. I don't know what he's going to pass the agility to that actually cares about it. But we are about to find out. The target is going to be Titar, who already would have been faster than Lax. But he's now faster than presumably the whole team for Asta, if it matters. Lax goes focus punch. And that is going to obviously, easily break the sub that Eloden just went for. 
See if Lax is going to go focus punch again or if he's going to start body slamming. Has to be careful here because Elodin can block a body slam with substitute. And indeed, he would have had that opportunity. He just did not have the balls to go sub there, but that would have blocked that body slam. And the sub would have remained intact. So it's going to be a misprediction for Elodin. Now he's going to go substitute. And it works this time. This time Elodin's going to outpredict him. Asta does not focus punch and pop that. So the Titar is safely behind this sub and can and does focus punch here. And Asta decides to simply self destruct and trade for the sub. So that leaves us very temporarily in a 4 to 4 situation. But Titar seems to be on its deathbed here as the Zapdos comes in for Asta. He's faster, remember, because of the Agilla Pass, so he does get to do something before he goes, and something turns out to be Fire Blast, 38%, definitely better than nothing there. We now end up with Zapdos on Zapdos, the faster one seems to belong to Asta here. Goes straight Thunderbolt, and he's simply going to knock him out, that seems bad for Elodin, he loses his Zapdos basically for nothing. Vaporeon's not going to beat Zapdos, so he's going to be down to just the Celebi here to try to deal with it. Hidden Power leaves him at 1%. And that's a Calm Mind. That's not going to do it. Celebi going to die to the sand, and this is all but over. It is Last Poke Vaporeon for Loden, staring down four Pokemon, honestly. But, I mean, just the Zapdos is probably enough. And there is the Thunderbolt for the KO. This one a one-sided beating for Asta. Neither of these games particularly close. This series largely all Asta. Now, to be very clear, there is no doubt that Asta got the favorable RNG in both the games. This whole series, the hacks seem to be on his side, but this was not a particularly close set. Both games pretty fast, both games pretty one-sided, and Asta is going to be the winner. And that is going to set up a stacked winner's bracket Final Four. Uh, the four winning players, and this should not be spoilers because this was the last one to play. It has all already happened, so you guys should already know this information. But the four winning players are ABR, Triangles, ZF, and Asta. That is a loaded final four in the winner's bracket. And of course, somebody in the lower bracket, which now includes Elodin, could still win the entire tournament, and that includes elite players like Roro, M Dragon, Star Master, Golden Sun, and others. So there are some very, very serious players still left in this tour, and after this round, the matches are going to start to get really, really intense and meaningful, and I cannot wait to see it. But in the meantime, there is more action to come in this round. Absolutely stay tuned for that. Thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and the series, and I can't wait to see you guys in a future game.